area and the chance of rain will continue into Friday with a cold front and then much cooler by the end of next week and into next weekend. All right, Brian, thanks. Well, what better way is there to kick off the fall season than to pick out a pumpkin? But when it comes to carving it, you want to keep your little ones safe. Giacomo Luca has tips from the experts in Johnston City. I got this big pumpkin. Heron Junior High School student Emily isn't the only person spending Sunday picking out a pumpkin. Sunday shows fall activities are in full swing. I came here with my church to go through the corn maze and ride a hayride. And dozens visit Bandy's Pumpkin Patch in Johnston City to do the same. Whether big or small, orange or white, there's no secret to picking that perfect pumpkin. It all comes down to what you like. But what's really important is how you carve it. Kelly Bandy has been working here nearly 20 years and is our jack-o'-lantern expert. The best way to carve a pumpkin is to get down on the ground with it. To start carving your pumpkin, you'll need a pair of work gloves, a knife, a spoon, and a candle. Start by cutting a circle at the top, add a notch to make it easier to put it back on. Oh, and carving's best left up to the adults. Using your spoon, scrape the pulp at the sides first and then at the bottom. If done right, it'll drop out all the same time. Now for the face. Begin with the nose since it's the face's center, then in any order the mouth and eyes, and have fun with your designs. And make sure to leave your hands on the outside when carving so you don't get hurt. Drop in the candle and poof! Jack-o'-lantern. After carved, it should last about four to five days. And if you're looking for a pumpkin patch near you, we're putting together a list of places all across the heartland. For that, visit KFES12.com. Live local late breaking in Johnston City, Giacomo Luca, Heartland News.